trying. We're trying. Oh, yeah. Be, we have a three man crew. We, we can have big, a three man crew. Games, we yeah. do a three man crew. <laughs> oh, hey, John. I think we're live, aren't we? We should be. All right. Randy boosted it up. So if you're just joining us, we had some technical difficulty getting things started here, but we are in the bottom of the first inning here. Good thing for Shalom. And for any of you watching here, you didn't miss much. Um, Grace got one base runner, um, but otherwise didn't do anything in the top half of the first. Top fly here. Number one. We're still getting ourselves set up. This is our inaugural baseball broadcast debut here. <laughs> Here's the pitcher, Brady Ducart. Got a good top half. Mr. Drake just flied out. Foul ball behind us. One ball, two strikes. Brady Ducart, the senior. Right fielder making it. So one, two, three, go the Flames here in the bottom half of the first. It's a quick moving game. It is a quick moving game. Zero, zero as we head into the top of the second. So you step over there now. Check one, two, check one, two. So in that first inning, as we're just getting everything settled here, Drake Wanger led off for Shalom. Then it was Brady Ducart second, and then Keaton Shans batted third. Flames went one, two, three. And we were setting up in the top of the first, but did Grace go one, two, three as well? I think, I think they got one base runner. Brady had a strikeout for the second out. I think they got a single. When we were setting up. I missed. I missed how they got on base. Okay. So leading off for Grace here, we have number three, Michael, Michael Berry, Berry, the tenth grader for the Knights. So he would be. Or you think they might have got a hit? So he may be like I fourth batter, fourth or fifth yeah, batter in the lineup? Yeah, I think he's the fourth or fifth batter. We got Brady Ducart here in the windup. Steve right one. Right on the outside corner there. Brady doing a good job getting ahead in the count here on these mighty Grace hitters. I believe Grace is one of the top teams in the league. That's going to oh, be a little high and outside. I was looking at the record. Um, they played quite a few games this year, a lot of games out of conference, and they've been kind of mixed on that, but in the MDCC, they are undefeated. Another strike there from Ducard. He's ahead now. One ball, two strikes. 
zero outs here, top of the second, no score. Thankfully, the rain stopped. It was a little wet earlier. I know. So, little dribbler down the third baseline. Nice Over play. to first for the out. That's Keaton there? Is that, it looked like Keaton, yeah. Yeah, Keaton Shands at third. Yeah, he played second last year. This is my first game, time seeing the Flames this year, so I'll try to learn their positions. I think maybe we got Drake Wanger maybe at short. That's what it looks like. But they trade Leighton's at first. I'm trying to think who. I have the roster here, Mike. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Shalom. That's Brody Hauser at that second Brody? base. Yeah, nice. the eighth grader. And we'll have to get the outfielders here because they're way out there and I can't see their numbers. My old eyes. We have one there. camera angle, so <laughs> it's not going to help us to go to our outfield camera because it doesn't exist. It didn't suit ESPN to make it to this game, no. so we're filling in for them. Good off speed uh, pitch. That's going to be a gonna tough be... play there by Ducart. Makes oh, it look very easy. nice. Makes it look easy. Two down now. Here, Grace Academy is this number 15 coming up here to bat. Andrew, Andrew Ingram. Ingram. Uh, actually, Another? number 16. Oh, 16. Jake Barnhart. Jake Barnhart. Jake's a senior for the Knights. He's got some impressive facial hair. He'd fit in with the Phillies, wouldn't he? He would. <laughs> a little bit of a Brandon Marsh look right now. Yeah. There. Oh, strike one. Ducart getting ahead in the count early here. Always a pitcher's best friend when you can get out in front early. Absolutely. He's working fast. He's got a good breaking ball. Foul, bill, foul ball. So far, Grace not getting a lot of good wood on the ball right now. Metal in this case. Metal, metal. Uh, good metal. Uh, good metal. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound quite as baseball as it does wood. not. That's going to be outside. Nice mix of pitches there with Brady Ducart up. May use some major league references from the movie, like just a bit outside. That's right. Do our best Bob Euchre impersonation yeah. here. Ooh, that looks really close. close. It's a good take there with two straights. That evens up the count, 2-2 two, two now, with two outs here in the top of the second. Oh. Breaking ball that didn't break. Yep. So full count now here. Didn't quite get the release point on that one. All the, all the other ones have been right by the knees, though. Oh, just for really. Two cars are going to want to have that one back up. Yeah. When the batter two strikes, zero balls, and uh, ends up walking them. So that's going to put a runner on first here for the Knights. There's Lawson Akins, number 13, a junior. Grace Academy. Not, I was going to say Trey is coming over to first now to keep the runner close. Barnhart, I believe, is down there. Ball one from Ducart. This is Lawson Akins. Outside. There's showing some respect here for the catcher, Ethan Reckbill, not, not running on him. That's usually no. a common thread here in the MDCC, but uh, Ethan Reckbill behind the, the plate. Is out. He's a strong, strong catcher there behind the plate. I'm sure they remember him from, I think he plays as an eighth grader. So. I believe, yeah, I think he started catching as an mm -hmm. eighth grader. That's not an easy thing to do. That's not. The two ball, no strike delivery here by Ducart. And that's going to be a strike good. one. So if I'm correct, I think Shalom is also undefeated in the league so far. I think they're 2-0 oh, if I remember yeah. right. I haven't had many games so far because of all the weather. Yeah, another strike on the outside corner by Ducart. That evens the count up. 2-2 here, two outs, top of the second. Runner on first for the Knights. And with broad forwarding not being in the league this year, it certainly opens things up. It sure does. For these two teams to be at the top. Oh, just inside. Full count now. And going back at us. Right. 
How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. One man crew tonight. <laughs> Jim Leslie, our behind the plate umpire. Must and be also our, our field umpire our as well. Field. And believe it or not, we'll be refing the soccer game later on this evening. He's, he looks familiar to me. Yeah. Okay. Down the third base yeah, line, in comes him. Keaton. Throw across the diamond. Nice He's play. Nice stretch there nice by play. Trey. And that ends the rally there by the Knights. We head to the bottom of the second. No score. Good infield defense so far by, oh, by yeah. the Flames. Yeah, this rain probably actually helps out on the infield. That softens up that dirt and getting a nice play sure does. ball. No, no bad hops. With it being kind of a colder day too, a colder, damp day, kind of wonder how the ball is going to travel. Mm -hmm. This could be a low-scoring game. So far, it's holding up that way, and it'd be nice to see some home runs too. We don't have many here at the Shalom Field, do we? No. We've got a pretty deep outfield fence. Not sure what what the dimensions are down the lines or in center, but I just know there's not usually many home runs hit here. Yeah, against CBCS, one of their players had a home run. I was kind of watching it from the soccer game. Oh wow! I heard the I heard the yell, and it was little guy, pretty there small guy, <laughs> nice rounding bases, and he hit it all the way up by center field. So okay, like you said, I don't know if it's kind of equal distance all around here, but it is a shot. We'll see if we get Andrew Wenger here. He's our maintenance supervisor. He would know the distances for the yes, fences. He would. I'm anticipating some guest interviews, maybe even in between innings. Maybe we can get a, a yeah, coach. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah. We got uh, Trey Layton leading us off here in the bottom of the second, number 15. Freshman. Uh, freshman, I believe, yeah. Yep. First baseman for the Flames. Let's see, did you get a number on the pitcher here? I think it's it number, number seven. Number seven. Connor Early. That was pretty hard. Yeah. Especially for a 10th grader. All right, Trey Layton stepping in now. First pitch coming in, swing and a miss. So he took a little bit off of that. I'm seeing him made of a fastball changeup and a, and a curveball. And it comes right back with the fastball yeah. and blew it right by him. Trey Layton in the hole now, 0-2. That's going to be outside. A little grunt from the pitcher on that one. He wanted the three-pitch strikeout. He wanted him chasing on that one. Ooh, and took something off that one. That was a good off-speed pitch. Yeah, Layton goes down on strikeouts. First out here in the bottom of the second. It's going to bring up Ethan Breckbill, sophomore catcher for the Flames. What do you think about walk-up music, Mike? You think we could maybe pump in we some walk-up music down here? That'd be pretty That would cool. be next level. <laughs> we need a PA announcer, <laughs> which I'm sure we could find that. Yeah, ball one. Even if we just get a megaphone, we could That's right. <laughs> have that. Um, not too much of a crowd here usually for games, so they could hear us. Yeah. And walk-up music would be great. We, we should probably ask the players what their walk-up song would be. We could get an organ down here, do that. <laughs> yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Get the charge chant going, maybe start the wave. Get some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, man. I tell you, we, we got ourselves a game here. Get concession stand workers down here. Yeah, walking around, just selling concessions. Yeah, Breckville taking all the way there. Up three balls, now one strike here. One out, bottom of the second, no score. Ooh, oh, Ethan there we gets go. some good metal on the ball. Bobbled briefly by Special the shortstop speed. and oh. He beat it, he beat, beat it. Down the line. Nice job. I thought his foot might have even come off the base there. I know it might be hard to see for the people here, but yeah, he definitely beat it either way. It was a it was a base hit. Well, I guess they'll probably call that E6. It could, yeah, because the ball will definitely affect the play. So yeah, but he left that one hanging a little bit. Carter Defender now up to the plate, number 13, another sophomore. Heavy sophomore laden team here, Mike. This is a young team. Flames. Yeah, only one senior, no juniors on the team. Everybody else, sophomore freshman. Future is bright, and there's a, a lot of a lot of good eighth graders coming up too. Pitch Next over year. to first, Breckville back on the bag. That 
Ludendorff, I believe, leading the team. I was looking on Max Preps. He's leading the team. Oh, oh just almost bad. down the line. Leading the team in batting average? Batting average, yeah. Okay. And he's their leading pitcher. He's not pitching today, but uh, has like a 1.480 ERA or something like that. Well, I know his, his dad, I'm friends with his dad, and he tells me how much he loves baseball and what a future he has here for the next couple of years, even after this one. Yeah. Good Bell's pitch to run on. Yeah. Yep. Ethan's going to swipe second there. Not much of a chance for the catcher on that one. That ball yeah. is way too high. And a good jump by Breckville. So we got uh, runner in scoring position now here, bottom of the second, one out, no score. Carter Deffendorfer at the plate. With a wide open hole right here with one the ball, base two, covering. Up. Two straight count. Is, be, is that an infield fly? No, because uh, no that's only if there's a runner in first and second. So that's going to be out number two there. Deffender for shaking his hand. It probably had a, yeah, a colder Oof. day. That can vibrate that a little bit. That would sting. That was right off the end of the bat. Yeah, that, that's not a good feeling. So Andrew Schmidt now stepping into the box here for the Flames. Got a runner on second. That's Breckbill out there. First pitch. Uh, he did the same way. thing. High Popped it up. Major league pop up right there. And third baseman calls for it and collects it. And that rally ends there for the Flames in the bottom of the second. So we head to the top of three, Mike. This zero, is flying zero. by. <laughs> no, this is quick. I was thinking with high school baseball, you never know how long a game can go. True. True. Especially when you got a pitcher duel going on like we do out here we today. we got two good pitchers. This could go fast. Right. So it looks like Carter Deffendorfer is going to, he's in left field, I believe. Christian Henry in right. And who do we got in center, number five? Is that Will Turner? Yeah, it's Will Turner. In center field. I believe Christian will be leading off to start the inning. I thought I saw him there on the on-deck circle. Okay. We got Ducart on the mound. Brady Ducart, the lone senior, the veteran, as you would say, on the yeah. team. I'm sure he's been waiting to pitch this game, especially they haven't played in over a week. I think it was last, last Friday, Tuesday? Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, I know. That was definitely their last home game. I don't know if they had another game since then. You might know better than me, but. Yeah, I should know that. I just, yeah. So if any of you are joining us on the live stream and plan on coming out later today, we do have a game at seven o'clock for our girls high school soccer team. They'll be taking on Penn State Mon Alto, continuing the tradition of playing against a college team. And you might think those games are gonna be one-sided, but they're really not. They have been super competitive the last couple of years. Uh, Penn State Mon Alto, I think, squeaking out wins both years, but they've been close. Yeah, they've always been close games. Yeah. I think we had that connection. I think we had a former player, or former Shalom player, Grace Banthe. She was. at Mon Alto. So I think that might have been the original connection. Patty Everly, I think, is there now. Oh, okay. So still some connections there to the mm -hmm. Mon Alto team. That's pretty cool. I think she's the only Shalom player. I think I saw when I was looking at the roster, it might be a CBCS player, a couple uh, either Waynesboro or Greencastle graduates that are on Mon Alto. So definitely a lot of local players. Number 15 leading off for Grace Academy here, top of three. We got, what do we got, number 15? Andrew Ingram. 10th grader for the Knights. They also have a pretty young team as well, only a few seniors. Grace has always been one of the top teams in the league. Yeah, I saw all the championships they've had just in the last like 10 years. Ducart, three balls here to the leadoff hitter in the top of the third. Don't want to, never want to walk the leadoff guy at the top of the inning. Yeah, but. especially the lower part of their lineup here, too. I think yeah. This is oh. number seven guy. Gets that one to fall seven in there. Guy. Three balls, one strike now, the count. Ducart peering in for the sign. Into the lineup. 
Ooh, that was close. Four now. It's going to put Ingram, Ingram right. Not a bad spot to miss. Yeah. Yep, Andrew Ingram. Andrew Ingram's going to walk here. Put a runner on first base now. Number seven going to be a lefty here for the Knights. That's our pitcher, Connor Early. Oh, Ooh, that's going to be nice, oh, nice there to Wanger. Get it. Yeah, fire cry. They're gonna, oh, oh Trey missed can't it. haul it in. It would have doubled him up, but what a play there and a good throw by Wenger at shortstop. I think maybe Trey probably reached a little further than what he actually needed I to. I think so, there, trying yeah. Trying to get every inch of he could, but. Uh, he was anxious have, to get that double play. Yeah, he was trying that, to that would have been beat sweet. the runner. Yes, that's the first out here. Number nine now for the Knights steps up to the plate. Anthony Presley, Presley. another 10th grader. I feel yep. like that's what we say for all the night players. Let's see if they're going to get any action going here. Yep, one out, top of three, no score here. Shalom Christian uh, Academy. Looks like the guy must have injured his, injured his shoulder. The, oh, the guy at first, back. yeah, sliding back. So we'll see. Uh, he might be hesitant to have him running now. Yeah, Andrew Ingram there at first base. Maybe on that slide back yeah. in, maybe overextended that arm a little bit. That could be a tough play. Will Turner unable to get it. That's all, go all the way to the, the fence. fence. It goes underneath a, the fence, it's which. Be a double. Ground rule double. I think that's going to save him here from the run. Probably will, yeah. Yep, well, runners in second and third now. With one out here, top of the third. The ball didn't seem to be hit real well. It was just right between them. Just hit the gap. Yeah, right in between them. <laughs> so Grace Academy threatening here in the top of the third. Runners on second and third here, one out. Jaden uh, Peterson. Number 24, Peterson. Mm -hmm. Jaden Peterson, another lefty here for the Knights. Oh, tough play. Into the dirt behind. Okay. They're, yeah, they are going to say. It hit the hit the batter, so that's a dead ball. Hit by pitch. So he's going to take first base, going to load the bases up now. I was kind of wondering why Breckville didn't run after the ball. Now it makes sense. But this isn't great. No. <laughs> we got the cleanup hitter. Bases loaded. Number 12, Hudson Walls. Another uh, junior. Can we get a double play here and get out of the inning cheap? That would be the best case scenario. Nice job there by Breckville blocking that ball. Until Brady's going to be careful here, though. Oh, that's a oh, that's going to be trouble. That is a weird play. Oh no, oh, no. should have went there first. It tries to go home and uh, can't can't get the runner going home. I'm not sure he'd get anybody. At yeah, any base right really there. That was play, yeah. That had so much top spin on it. So that's gonna plate the first run of the game here for Grace Academy. They lead one nothing now. One out here in the top of the third. Base is still loaded now for the Knights. Yeah, off the bat there, I thought Brady was gonna have a chance to catch that one, but just had a little too much air on it and Yep. Just over his head. Yeah, just perfectly placed. Ducard falling behind here. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, swing and a miss. That's a big cut there by number three. Michael Berry. Never guessed it. Another 10th grader. Another 10th grader. <laughs> Lots of sophomores. Just like Shalom, they're sophomore heavy as yeah. well. Let's see Brady Ducart. Oof. Oh, that was a That's watermelon crushed. in there. And oh, Turner what a catch. Great running play all by the Will way, Turner. Slips as he oh, throws right. it into the infield. They might get infield. two runs here. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, Turner. He slipped and fell. Slipped as he threw the ball to the infield, missing a cutoff. Yep. And uh, Grace Academy, that's a two RBI sacrifice fly, unfortunately. You don't see that very often. No. But youth baseball, you're going to see those kinds of things happen. <laughs> 
So what a great runs. catch, though. Yeah, that was a phenomenal catch. Turner going all the way into the gap, getting a glove on it. He definitely saved another run. I mean, if that would have gone in the gap, I think they would have scored all three. You'd probably yeah. be looking at a triple. And the guy on first, he must have been well near second base. He never got to tag up on that. Yeah, but. he had to chase him or run all the way back to first. So that played it. That hit plated two more runs, or the, actually a fly out plated two more runs. So mm -hmm. now Grace Academy leads 3 0 here, top of the third. Two outs now. Ducart. That's going to be a, tough, be a play. tough play. Okay, but nice Keaton's play right there. by Keaton Shans. Yes, nice job, Keaton. That ends that rally there by the Knights. But unfortunately, put up three runs there in the top of the third. Let's see what Shorm can do here in the bottom of the third, but chip away at it. Don't need to get them all back in one swing. Yeah, and I feel pretty good. I mean, we're getting, we're getting, we're making contact. I mean, this pitcher's throwing hard. He's got, looks like three pitches, good change up, good curveball. But so far, we're making contact, so. That's the important thing. Yep. Grace didn't do too much in the first two innings, so I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. coming back here and maybe even this inning. That's right. Hey, Wade. So as far as the schedule so far for Shalom, back all the way March 19th, so a month ago when it was even colder than it was today, <laughs> they won the first game 15-0 against Legacy Christian. And then a few days later, won 14-1 against Carroll Christian. So putting up 29 runs in two games and yeah. only giving up one run. Ooh, that's pretty that's nice. a great start to the season. Yeah. And then a couple tough losses to Williamsport and then Broad Fording, who's always difficult. And like I said earlier, they're not in our conference this year, so that's. I'm assuming that might be the only time we have to play them and wouldn't have to worry about them in the playoffs. And then I think we are playing them again, actually. One I more think game. Maybe this coming week. And then our only, our only league game so far was against CBCS back last Tuesday. And that we was actually a 9 3 played, win. Uh, we played Heritage Academy earlier this week. They didn't get it posted. Oh, it just wasn't though. posted yet. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how that game went? We won 7 2, maybe. Okay. Christian so good Henry start. now. Good start to the conference yeah. schedule. Christian Henry leading off the bottom of the third and in the hole quickly here, 0-2. Henry gets some metal on it, but that's going to be popped. It's a foul, foul ball. Foul. And yep. Caught by the first baseman. Here's Will Turner. Center fielder here for the Flames, number five. Sophomore for Shalom. Full swing and a miss. Will the thrill here. Yeah. I mean, his walk-up music could easily be Pirates of the Caribbean. Of course, right? definitely. Sure, he's been getting the jokes his whole life. <laughs> That's right. Outside, good eye there by Turner. Now, he's nice ahead to get now. Base Three runner. balls, one strike. Any way possible right now. Yeah, base runners are key. Push to the top of the lineup coming we'll up. Take a walk here too. Three ball, one strike count here. One out, top, bottom of the third. Will that's a base hit. right through the gap and Turner lead off single here in the bottom of the third. That's what we need. See if the bottom of the order here can, or maybe we're not. You know, Drake. Right? Drake's up here now. I think Drake he let off. Okay, so that yep. rolls the top here. It's always nice when you get that ninth place batter on the on the base pads, rolling the top now. Oof. That's going to be outside. That was a tough pitch. 
Good ball, one strike. Sophomore Drake Langer, shortstop. Now tip back at the backstop. So Turner at first, one out. We're in the bottom of the third. Grace Academy leading 3-0. There goes there Turner. Goes. Yep. And uh, it's going to be a tough throw there for the catcher on that outside pitch. Yeah, curveball in the dirt. You're probably not going to throw the guy out. Probably not. Unless you're JT Real Muto or something <laughs> like that. Oh, oh, that's my deep base hit as well. Get through. Yep. The infield, Turner's oh. going to make the turn. Go, go, go. He's going to yep. come all the way in. No throw. And uh, Drake Wenger driving in the first run of the game, bringing in Will Turner, led off with a single. That is a seeing or, eye single right there. Seeing eye single, that's right. This is going to bring up senior Brady Ducart. 3-1 now your score. Shalom trails by two. Let's see the pitcher here, a little rattled. His command is not as good as it was the first couple of innings. Yeah. He's and I would with think some confidence there. Drake's going to run on this pitch. Nope. Good eye there by Ducart. We'll see Two if balls, he gives no him strike. The, see if he gives him the signal here. I thought maybe he'd be off and running. Nope. Oh, well, that's down a tough the play. line. And it's off the third baseman's glove. And uh, oh, Drake Wanger's gonna going to gamble. and He's, he's going to get there. Yep. He gets there, and uh, we got runners on the corner here. Good aggressive base running by the Flames. Yeah. Heads up running there by Drake with uh, round and second there, seeing the third baseman has chasing the ball. Seeing that base was vacant, mm -hmm. and knew he could beat the guy there, and he does. So now we got Keaton. Shans. Great opportunity. See if they do any kind of first and third steal here. Nope. Swing and a miss by Shans. He's in the hole now. 0-1. Oh, one. one out. Bottom of the third. Grace Academy three. Shalom Flames one. But Shalom. Oh, oh. the hit and run. Let's get back, Brady. Is that See if he tags up. The score, the He's going to go. He's going to come. And high He's throw. And nice. Langer sliding in under the tag for run number two here for the Flames. And they pull within one now, 3-2 here in the bottom of the third. Good call by the coach to send him on that one. Which, I didn't know what kind of arm the right fielder had, but that was not yeah. a very deep fly ball. Another attempted steal here by Shalom. And Ducart doesn't even slide. We got another runner in scoring position here for the Flames now with two outs. Chance to tie it up. Oh, oh. Man, look at the spin on that one. Let's say wise play there by the first base. That spins back into fair territory. He can pick that back up. Trey's got to be running down on and that's where the, the damp field it. probably helped us because if it was a dry field, I think that would have gone back. I think as much spin as that ball had uh -huh. on here, right? Right off the top of his bat. Good eye there by Trey. One ball, two strikes to count here. Two outs, bottom of three. Runner on second, that's Ducart. Trey Layton at the plate. And a good eye there by Trey. Pitcher trying to paint that outside corner. Trey laying off of that pitch. Two twos to count now, two outs. He's going big jump. And oh. a swing and a miss there by Trey. And that's going to end the inning, but a good one for the Flames. They got some back. Chipped away at that lead there by Grace. This is a ball game. We head to the top of the fourth now. This game's moving along. Grace Academy three, Shalom Flames two.
Already top of the fourth inning here. This game is flying along. Is this Barnhart batting here? If memory serves me correct. I believe he's the shortstop. Yep, Jake Barnhart. Brady Ducart pitching for the Flames. First pitch was a ball. Pitch number two. Barnhart gets some good contact nice there, play. but there's Will Turner. Eating that up in center field. He's got a lot of range out there. Really good jump on the ball. Nice job, Will Turner, the sophomore center fielder for the Flames. Gets out number one here. It's going to bring up number 13 now for the Knights. That's at the top here, Lawson. Lawson Akins. Swinging in the miss on pitch one. Good card ahead in the count now. Oh, one ball, or uh, no balls, one strike. Pitch is a little high. You gotta give Brady a lot of credit there. I know he gave up three runs that last inning, but he really got himself out of that jam. He did. That's a tough spot. You yeah. see the experience of being a senior and not getting routed. No, he didn't get rattled at all. Oh, oh Keaton Shans, that's gonna be off his glove. Tries to throw it across and Trey scoops it up, but not in time. Aikens legs that out. Infield hit there for number 13, Lawson Aikens. It's gonna bring up number 15 now here for the Knights. Andrew Ingram. Andrew Ingram, 10th grader. Knights three, Flames two here, top of four. One out, runner on first for the Knights, and he's going to steal right on the first pitch. Good Phil throw. comes up firing, oh. and it's going to be on the wrong side of the bag into center field now, and uh, the runner's going to go to third now. Plays Wenger unable to scoop that ball out of the dirt there on Bruckville's Bre throw. So that's going to put a runner on third base here for the Knights with one out. Pitch is low. That evens the count at 1-1 one, one here. Ingram gets some contact in the short. Oh, oh another ball in there by the infielders. And uh, yeah. the kind of short, short hop Drake there. Yeah. So it's going to put another runner on first for the Knights and bring in another run here for the Knights as well as they now lead four to two here, top of four. We got one out, runner on first. You can see what happens here, how quickly things can turn. Yeah, this Three is, consecutive errors there right. by Shalom. Yeah, we could be out of this inning, but instead yeah. we only have one out and a runner on first and a run across the plate here for the Knights in the top of the fourth. Number seven's your batter. That's Connor Early, 10th grader, lefty. Looks at ball one here on the first pitch from Ducart. Uh, a chance at a double, double play. play. And he got him. I got him. Barely, Good recovery. That's Birdie Hauser there at second base. Eighth grader. Eighth grader. That ball was hit hard. It was. a good play. Get the lead runner. You know, definitely want to make sure one in that instance. So that's going to be two outs now. Still runner on first. Number nine now for the Knights coming to the plate. Anthony Presley. Mm -hmm. Good chance to work themselves out here. We're going to get a pinch runner now, number five. They still use the term courtesy runner. Is Maybe. That's still a thing. I guess. From my I high know. school days, if the, the pitcher, I think it was the pitcher or the catcher, could get a courtesy runner. Okay. So it's basically like a pinch runner, but all the guy does is just run for that position. Oh, that's a solid contact a there run. by number nine. Oh, no. Turner gets past him briefly. We're going to try to get it into the infield. They get it in, but not in time to catch the runner at second. That's going to be a double to put runners on second and third here. With two outs, bottom of the, or top of the fourth. Number 24 is going to be the batter here for the Knights. Jaden Peterson. Peterson, a junior. This is a this is a critical spot right here. Yeah, we could get out of this or give yep. up two runs here on one one no, swing of the bat. Change the game for sure. 
And Christian way off the line now, but they're getting, I think the coaches want him to get towards the line a little bit more. First pitch from Ducart is low. Got a lot of spin on that could yeah, be trouble another for like Wenger, but he gets it, fires the first one. Safe. Layton comes up with the ball. There's been a few of those hits here this game where <laughs> a lot of English on them. Yeah. Off the end of the bat. And just falling in spots where it's really tough for anyone to make a play on it. So that plates another run for Grace Academy. They now lead five to two here, top of the fourth. We got two outs. Those were always, when playing baseball, those were always the toughest plays to make I've, yeah. when I played infield. Because you're used to the ball coming off the bat a certain so hard, way. Yeah. And when it comes off and it's spinning, you don't, you have no idea what's going to happen when it hits the ground. Well, that's going to be a tough play here. Yep. Brady Hauser's coming under it. He got and it. he gathers it in. That's the third out, but a little damage there by the Knights. They put up two here in the top of the fourth and extend their lead by three now, five to two. Well, the Flames responded the last time Grace Academy scored in the top of the third. Let's see if they can do. Let's see if they can do it. Bringing out the same pitcher again. It was a tough inning. That's one of those innings where you kind of hang your head a little bit because yeah, making some errors, tough plays, and you yeah. hope you don't take what happened on the field when you come up to bat. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you can just flush it and just focus on hitting. I hear Correct. some of the coaches saying that to them right now. Like It's in the past. Yep, it's, it's in the past. Got to come back now. And you got to hit. Only down three here, so within, within reach now. Sophomore catcher Ethan Breckfield is going to lead off here in the bottom of the fourth. What an overcast, damp, cool afternoon here at Shalom Christian Academy. Where did that weather go from the past two days, Mike? I, mean, this I is don't gorgeous. know. Oh, yeah. 75 and sunny. This is what you get in like, April. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be great. Our first live stream of the baseball yeah. game is going to be nice. And here we are. And I'll tell you, I almost didn't pack anything long sleeve either. Because <laughs> when I looked at the temperature, it said it was supposed to be in the 60s. And I thought, oh, really? Oh, that might be okay. And it's definitely not in the 60s. Boy, it does not feel anywhere close to being in the 60s. All right, getting set to start the bottom of the fourth. Breckbill leading off here. Flames down 5 2 to the Knights of Grace Academy out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Breckbill looks at strike one on the first pitch. See if he comes back with a fastball. Threw a change up there, see if he comes back with a fastball. Breckbill ready for it, fouls it back behind the backstop. He's in the hole 0 and 2 now. You can tell this pitcher has confidence in all three pitches because if a pitcher doesn't, they're normally just going to throw the fastball and then mm -hmm. occasionally throw the breaking ball. But he's starting, he's starting batters off with breaking balls. It's a good eye there by Breckbill. One ball, two strikes to count. No outs here, bottom of the fourth. Flames trail 5 2. And Breckville looks at the outside. Yeah, that was a Caught hard. the outside corner. Goes down on strikes. Really good pitch. Excellent pitch here by the Knights, number seven. I should know his name by now, but I don't. Connor Early. Connor Early. Also their leadoff hitter. Okay. This is uh, Deffendurfer Carter, the left fielder for the Flames. Looking at ball one. Ooh. Out in front on that change up. Yeah, that was a nasty pitch. <laughs> one and one's the count. It's so hard when you're sitting fastball, especially <laughs> when it's a 1-0, you think you're going to get it. Lays off the high pitch. Two balls, one strike is the count. One down here. Oh, nice there you go. strike right back up the middle. Oh, second baseman's there. I thought maybe get through the... That was a great, great play. play. I didn't see the second baseman there. I, I didn't either. He must have been shifting over that way. But second baseman makes a nice play on that. I thought for sure it was a base hit. 
Nice clean shot up the middle. And a nice throw to first. And out number two here in the bottom of the fourth for the Flames. It's going to bring up Andrew Schmidt now. Because he'd be playing the DH position. Because he's not playing the field right now. He's DHing for Brody. Okay. Yep. Nice eye there by Schmidt laying off that outside pitch. 1-1 one, one the count, two outs, bottom of the fourth. Grace Academy five, Shorn Flames two. Go, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. Just nice. outside. Another outside pitch. Two balls, one strike. Schmidt, another sophomore for the Flames. Does he pitch? He should pitch, man. He'd be like the big unit he out does. there. He does. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's one of the pitchers. The He'd be intimidating out there. He would. I've seen him in the bullpen okay. warming up a couple times. Times I've been over here watching him practice, I've seen him warming up. Foul tip. Full count here for Andrew Schmidt. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. So we can get a little two-out lightning here. Uh, Three on Andrew Schmidt. Flames go down one, two, three. Really on the bottom good pitch the on the inside part of the plate. That was an excellent pitch, Mike. Yeah. And so we're going to get a top of five now. We've got Flames several, trailing five, two. Several kids on this team that play three sports. Yeah. Andrew's one of them. Tributes on all three teams. Christian Henry being another Jim, one. Yeah, Christian Henry. Let's see here. We've got Drake Wanger, younger brother Trey Wanger. Also play all three sports. So I know you would travel up a lot to Yankees games with Mr. Shaker. I've been to a couple, yeah. Yeah, just a few. Is that your favorite baseball team? No. Actually, I don't really have a favorite baseball team. Yeah, I put so much energy into my football and basketball teams. I feel <laughs> right. like I don't have any left over. And baseball is such a long season. Uh, it's really hard to stay focused. It is. I mean, I kind of like the tough. Orioles. I mean, being an Eagles fan, I follow the Phillies, too. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I can't say I really have a favorite. But those are the two teams I follow. Baseball is a different energy altogether when you're a fan. Yeah. And, as you know, I'm a huge Phillies fan. And... I try not to get excited about games in April. <laughs> My rule is I'll get excited when they win, and yeah. I'll just be neutral when they lose. There you go. <laughs> Got to pace yourself. Yes. It's 162 games. That's yes. a long time. And really, until about the All-Star break, I, I try not to care too much about the losses. Uh -huh. um, Philly's been off to a good start, though, so far. They have, yeah. They swept, they swept the Rockies, right? They did. Benefited from some easier games here the first part of the year. Who they got this weekend? Chicago White Sox. Which oh, okay. Also not a very good record, so oh, okay. they have so a, a good chance. Get a sweep or two out of three, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh, shot that's down it. the line underneath Hot the glove shot. of Keaton. Yeah. Diffin Durfer picks it up, fires it into the cutoff to Drake Wang. There's Michael Berry. Yeah. That's a Getting tough one. Solid contact here from some of the grace hitters here in the last couple innings. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's right. And Brooks Robinson down there, or Mike Schmidt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're a Phillies fan, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt, we'll yeah. say Schmidt. Or even Scotty Rowland. Oh, yeah, Another that's right. I do now remember. Hall of Fame third baseman. Right nice. Right so leadoff batter on here for Grace Academy in the top of the fifth. That's going to be strong. Foul down the line. Defender forgives Chase, but it's going to be out of play. It's a souvenir for the fans. That's right. So I think this is number 17, if I can see his number eight. That's Ryan Peterson. Yep. That runner goes he from first. So it's kind of a check swing hit. Somebody's got to get cover the bag at third, and nobody's going to be there. And the runner. And if he, he moved the runner. He moved the runner, yeah. <laughs> two, two, two spots. Times, two spots, yeah. So I think that, is that the shortstop's yep. coverage there to get over the third base? Typically it would be. But the, also the, the guy was running. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, now so I'm not sure who was covering second there, but if Drake was covering second. Yeah, then. that's kind of a, 
Oh, that's going to be a sharp hit ball to second base. Hauser, nice scoop. Nice it over. That's going to plate the runner from third, but uh, it's going to be two outs now here in the top of the fifth. Brody's been really really solid there at second base yeah. for an eighth grader. He's shown some confidence, some poise on those hard hits. Brody's my man. He's a big Tar Heel fan. Yeah, I do okay. appreciate a good Tar Heel fan. Yeah. Ducart fires in. Strike on first pitch here. And that's going to be a golf shot out into center field. Both Over players calling him for it, it and uh, Deffender ends up coming <laughs> with it. Usually I would say it's the center fielder calling Yeah, normally his ball, but center fielder, but he was the louder voice, apparently. That's right. So being a Tar Heels fan, were you indifferent to the Wolfpack run in the NCAA tournament, or are you not real happy to see him? I know you're against Duke making yeah, any kind of run they would Duke make. Loses, yeah, <laughs> I don't really care. But no, it was I thought cool, that was right? kind of cool to see them play it was the way cool. they did. Yeah, see the ACC represented there. Yeah. Um, they kind of had a Cinderella story. Yeah. I know who was really excited was Troy Ubers. You know, Troy's on our oh, is that his team? That's his team, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he likes, he likes the Wolfpack. And uh, it was pretty exciting. In fact, he went to a Wolfpack game this year. Very Took cool. his two boys who are Duke fans, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> but uh, it's hard to get into Cameron Indoor because it's, one, it's a successful program. It's a small court, so it's really hard to yeah. get tickets. So they went to NC State when NC State took on Duke during the regular season. And Probably Duke, a bigger venue. Yeah, Duke ended up winning that game. It was pretty close for a while. But then... Yeah, well, Troy back. needed something to cheer for because his Carolina Panthers, I mean, that's a that's tough. Been, yeah. It's been a pretty dreadful team the last few years. Yeah, it has been. But the, uh, the Wolfpack got their revenge after that game, went in, they sure did. in the ACC tournament and in the NCAA tournament. That was, a, that was a great game to watch. Yeah. ACC tournament was really fun. So here we are, Mike, bottom of five already. This game is going super fast. And, this uh, is the inning. I'm feeling something here. Little, this is little rally time here. I think so. Christian Henry's going to get us started. I don't know what kind of endurance this pitcher has, but this is his fifth inning now. He hasn't thrown a ton of pitches, but this is <clears throat> going to have second, third time through the lineup here. Yeah, I believe last time, Christian, he's the one that got this rally started here, right? I believe. Got that inning started? No, oh, he it? fouled out. It was, or was it Drake that it was Will. Oh, Will, Will Turner, that's right. Will's, Will's the ninth place batter. My bad. Will's up next. Will got it started. Well, Christian's got both the first and third baseman playing pretty deep. If he could lay one down the line here. Uh, nope. Fouls that one down the third base line and out of play. That's a walk back here. It looks like the Shalom warming up another, another pitcher. Looks like Keaton Chance. It's Keaton, yep. Pitch bounces in the dirt. Good eye there by Henry. Still behind in the count. One ball, two strikes here to lead off the bottom of the fifth with the Flames trailing by four, six to two. Taking on the Knights of Grace Academy. That's foul Good piece. Good job by Christian. Talking to his dad last Tuesday, he said, uh -huh. this is definitely sport number three for Christian. Okay. <laughs> Soccer being one and basketball being two. And but hey, still a pretty good is. baseball player too. Yeah, good athlete. he really is. So he hadn't played much since when he was younger. Uh, that was, uh, that was a really high. hard pitch. Right. Henry's going to go down on strikes. It's going to bring up center fielder, sophomore Will Turner, number five. Will can lead the rally again. Strike one there on that first pitch. Outside, good eye by Turner. One one's the count. One out here, bottom of five. Fouled off by Turner. That's going to be out of play. And you can tell that this pitcher has good off speed. I said it earlier too, but. I'm seeing the approach from the players right now, the hitters, and mm -hmm. a lot of them aren't stepping towards him right now. They're, <laughs> they're kind of anticipating the curve yeah. and responding to the fast fastball. Oh, and that's another, speaking of the curveball, yep. nasty. 
and turn it. Just, it affects the hitter. They're not getting the same contact. They're not prepared the same way yeah. when they get the fastball. That's why we're seeing our guys a little late on the pitch. He's definitely got us off balance, that's yes. for sure. Here's uh, top leadoff hitter now, Drake Wanger, coming to the plate here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Grace Academy leading six to two. And that foul ball <laughs> took it. Oh, that is going all the way up the road right now. Oh, Drake. That's through. See a nice single up through the middle there. I don't want to call too early. When Deffendorfer hit his, I thought it was a clean single, and the second baseman got over and threw him out at first. So, two out hit here for the Flames by Drake Winger. So that's going to bring up senior Brady Ducart. See how aggressive we are on the bases here, down by four runs. But you certainly want to get someone in the scoring position here yeah. where Basic could score him. So Drake's got good speed. Yeah, may take a chance here and just. I think just... we're three for three on steals so far. So throw over to first. So it's not like Major League Baseball, right? You only hit you could, Major League Baseball. Is that still the rule? You can only throw over twice the first yes. base. Yes. Yeah. No pitch oh. clock here. I believe you can throw over as many times as you want. First pitch to Ducart high. Ooh. Lays off on the second pitch, so one one's the count, two outs. <clears throat> nice high there by Ducart. He's ahead in the count now. Two balls, one strike here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Got a hawk or something flying over the infield here. Wow. That was crazy. That's pretty low. That was pretty low. That was awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> he thought he would come watch a little baseball. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. There goes Wenger now. Throw from the knees by the Good catcher. Good steal. And yep. Not in Good time. Play. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position here for Shalom. With the count 2-2 two, two here to Ducart. What's he hitting on the gun? See if we can get some contact on it now. Fastballs. Mm -hmm. oh, got the radar gun here, nice. Yeah, there's... Oh, okay. She couldn't get up to work. Okay. You wouldn't have seen mine. I would have just come over here. I got one in the And that's a swing and a miss by Ducart, and that's going to end a little rally here by Shalom in the bottom of the fifth. We head to the top of the six now here at Shalom Christian Academy. Flames trail by four, six to two. And we got a pitching change. Keaton Shans coming in the game here. Overall, pretty good job by Brady. Yeah. Some tough defense. Some tough defensive plays behind us. Brody Hauser moved over to right field. Brady moved to second base. So we got Looks like we got Trey Wanger, eighth grader, going to third base. And Keaton Shans pitching. And then over in left field. Trying to see who that is. Is that Carter? Still in left field? Looks like Carter might be in center field now. He might have switched. Oh, no, there's... there's yeah, Carter's still in left field. Turner's Will's, out there. Will's in center. <laughs> and he's Christian. Christian's out of the game. I think that might have been the only change. Yeah, 
Number 15, Andrew Ingram here, leading off the inning. We're in the top of the six now. Ingram batting 200 here coming into the season. Gotta love Max Preps. It is nice. <laughs> I've seen some games online uh, game changer if you watch yeah. any of that I, I haven't but i've heard i just heard that they do that here which is pretty cool yeah so keaton coming out firing some strikes here and ahead in the count o2 my niece plays club softball Ooh. and they had a uh, look out it's a screamer right over the dugout they had game changer for that and they have up-to-date stats so whatever they're doing in the game so they'll oh, say wow. like you know one for two with a single and it's pretty cool what if we can pull it up here? Oh, nice. Devastating. Really nice. Chance. Strike. Good curveball. Strike out here to lead off the top of the six for Shalom. Shans, sophomore for the Flames. Was playing third now, relieving Ducart here. Who went five innings, allowed six runs. Good pitch there, a little high. Ball one. Well, that's oh, Wanger. Yeah, that's had a was in on his hands. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's they've had so those. many of those hits today. I don't know if that has a lot to do with the weather, or if it's just part of baseball. It's it seems like it's either in on their hands or top of their bat. Is this Presley here coming up? Is that number nine? Play? Yep, Anthony Presley. Yeah, batting 286 on the season. Keaton Chans ahead in the count. Two outs here, top of the six. Knights two, flame. Or I'm sorry, Knights six, Flames two. Chans in the stretch and the pitch. And fouled off by Good Presley. Good spot. Let's go. It's the perfect placement for a curveball. Yeah. Right at their feet like that. Get them all twisted up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so Shan's ahead in the count, 0-2 here, two outs, top of the six. Oh. <laughs> He's behind him. A breaking ball that didn't break. Foul ball. Foul ball. It's another curveball. Two strike pitch here by Shams. And golf shot. That's going to be trouble. Oh, but Trey. What a play. Trey, Trey Wanger. 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 Thought it was going to be trouble for him. He made it look easy. Great play. <laughs> well done by the eighth grader, Trey Wanger. That's typical Trey, too. Um, coaching him in soccer. He, <laughs> you, you, a lot of times, you, you don't even. He makes it look so effortless. Yeah. Like that. Like, <laughs> great play. <laughs> so we're 
heading to the bottom of the six now, Mike. This game it's one of the along. faster high school baseball games. I mean, yeah. We're only about an hour into this, Gerald. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. A little over an hour because we got a we got an early start, I guess, because of yep. weather maybe. Plus, with the baseball umpire also referee in the soccer game, he That's wanted true. to make sure it didn't get this game didn't go too late. Get this show on the road. Plus, with the cloud cover, you know, it could get dark a little early as well. We want to make sure we well, get the it way in. things are going here. He might have time to go out for dinner <laughs> for the seven o'clock game. That's right. <laughs> Although we're going to hope this game goes a lot longer because That's that would right. mean we, we make a comeback. That's right. <clears throat> so here in the bottom of the six, Flames trail by four, six to two. Keaton Shans is going to get us started. The sophomore started at third base is now pitching for the Flames. Shans coming into this game, if Max Preps is correct, hitting 211. <laughs> See if we can get a little rally going here. Chip away at this full run deficit. Fouled back over the backstop. Back into the field. Hopefully that can be retrieved. Some high grass back there. Yeah. Here you go, kid. Let's go, kid. Good hit. Solid contact by yep. Shans to get us started here in the bottom of the six. Man, that sounded, I was looking down at my computer, but you could just tell by the sound off the bat. Yeah, that was a line solid drive. Contact. So Shans, the third place batter. It's going to bring up cleanup hitter now, Trey Layton here. Trey Layton coming in, hitting 235 for the Flames. Here you go, one final, let's go, kid. Four hits, four runs on the season, two RBIs for Trey. Oh, that's, that's a wild, last wild pitch. Yep, and uh, Shan's going to take second, so we've got a runner in scoring position here. Good start here to the bottom of the six for Shalom. What we need to do, Mike, we, we take the lead here and then shut him down in the top of the seventh. And take I like the w. it. That'd be a great way to end this game. But we got a lot of runs to score here before that happens. He's got to get at least five to take the lead. It all starts with a hit right here. And swing and a miss by Trey. Again, a 2-0 curveball. You wouldn't expect that. Yeah. Very confident in his pitches. You can see he was definitely hit, sitting fastball. Ooh, another good pitch another in the outside strike. corner. Yeah, low and outside there. It'd been a tough pitch to, to hit. So two twos to count now to Trey Leighton. No outs here, bottom of the six. Oh. Off the catcher's helmet and up over the backstop. That tells you, <laughs> don't see that too often. Uh -uh. Trey going around, so that's going to be a strikeout there for the first out here. Say he committed. Of the so first out here, runner on second. That's Keaton Shans. That's going to bring up sophomore catcher Ethan Breckbill here. It's, oh, throw down to second. Shans back. So Breck Bill now, one of the leading hitters for the Flames, hitting 353. Good start. Good eye here. Ahead in the count now. Two balls, no strikes. One out here, bottom of the six. Flames trailing by four. There's oh. a swing and a miss by Breck Bill. Two balls, one strike now. So do you pay for max preps? I do not. Okay, so that's all free information you can get. It is. I think there's certain areas you get to that you have to pay for, but you hmm. get some basic stuff. Nice. I just never know how up to date it is. Right. 
Nice job there by Breckville laying off that high pitch. This that's is a big be, spot right here. Yeah. Yep. And that's going to bring a call to the mound by the Grace manager. Let's see if this is a pitching change or. Just going to talk things over. Yeah, now. just going to talk it over. He's probably throwing quite a few pitches. Yeah, I don't know all the, the pitching rules in high school baseball. I know they're pitching limits, and if you don't hit a certain amount of pitches, you can come back sooner. Right. Or if you go over. And this is NDCC. A, I don't know. I know PIAA has rules. I'm not sure how the league does it here. I think it's probably pretty similar, I would guess, but I yeah. don't know. Really nice if they could get. Oh, okay. So the coach from Grace just came oh, over and checked on the pitches. pitches. He said he's at 88 pitches. So. <clears throat> All right. So that's no pitch here. So Deffen Durford, now your batter. Really nice to get a wild pitch. Get second and third. Yeah. Take, take, the, take the double play out of the yep. picture. Oh, oh that is smashed. Perfect. That might Fresh be out. Is, wide. is that going to be over the fence? It, it is. is. Home oh, run. Home run. Carter Deffendorfer. What a, a shot. shot in the that completely the changes six. the game. Woo. Got into that one. <clears throat> Sophomore Big hit. Carter Deffendorfer. Hey, we saw our home run. <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. Nice. That was no doubt nice. about it. Ooh. That was a good 5, 10 feet past the – that caromed into the, into the, the shed, shed over there. Yeah. What a hit. And like you said, that changes this game in a hurry. Now we're going to get a pitching change. by one. And that's going to be a call to the bullpen here for the Knights. Is that the first pitch or second pitch? I think it was the second. Yeah, it was the second. As they threw a ball in the first pitch. And the second this, pitcher, one, this pitcher has been so good about his location, but that one was middle in. Mm. <laughs> that was a classic middle in fastball. <laughs> and he turned on that. Wow. Oh. I guess we probably should have asked the. Uh, the coaches before the game if we could interview players <laughs> that would be a great opportunity to get a quick interview from Carter <laughs> watching the replay right now on the live stream. Yeah. We know those those of you watching at home couldn't see where it landed, but if you know Shalom's dimensions here, that ball landed right by the shed and caromed in. So that was that was quite the shot. That was a poke. Yep. <laughs> that was awesome. Well Jaden Peterson coming into the game to pitch here. Lefty. Well, that's going to bring a different perspective for our hitters, won't it? Yep. So 6-5 game here, sixth inning. That changes things. Yep, only one out, too. We can't be done. That's what I said, Mike. You're going to take the lead and yeah. then go one, two, three in the bottom or top of the seventh and hey, call I'll the take ball it. game. Yeah, I'm going to go up to the concession stand and – a bit of hot chocolate and yeah. <laughs> cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> yeah. Where's the heat down here? I love spring baseball. That's right. You never know what you're going to get. No. It's like a box of chocolates, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, two gorgeous days. I mean, the past two or three days have just been perfect. I'm not sure what happened today. At least the wind's not blowing. That would really be bad. Ooh. We had a soccer game on Sunday. 
for my oldest son, Noah, uh -huh. and the wind was just... Oh, it was brutal, wasn't it? It really was. It benefited us on the, on the goal we scored. Oh, well, <laughs> hey. <laughs> one of our players floated a ball up in the air, and it, if it wasn't for the wind, we probably wouldn't have gotten that goal, but it made it, made it really tough to play. <laughs> so you're right, some strange weather we've had here so far. Yeah, that's spring, springtime in Pennsylvania. Ooh, that was a nice pitch. He's bringing it. Has some speed. Looks like he also throws a curve and a fastball. Or curve, fastball, and I saw a changeup as well, so. So Peterson, he's 1-0 and on the season, four appearances. Has a 0, zero, zero earned run average. And four appearances? Let's see how many innings. It, I don't see the innings here. No starts. He must have come in in relief. Maybe he's the closer. He might be. He looks like he could be a closer. He's throwing pretty hard. Yeah. Call him the wild thing. <laughs> he's got the haircut. Yeah, that's right. If he's got the mullet going on. a little bit of uh, Mitch Williams. Yeah. Was Williams, was he a lefty? He was a lefty. I thought so. Yep. Yeah, we're going way back to the old Phillies. Yeah. Lenny Dykstra. Oh. Good, good cut fastball. by Schmidt. It's got some movement on it. John Cruck. Yeah. On that team, Mitch Williams. That was my team, Gerald. Oh. I went to the, still never, still went to the NLCS at the age of 12 and the World Series. Yeah. I was there with my dad. Is that right? You were actually there. I was the game. there. I, yeah, it was a game five. I still five. remember listening to the the call on the way home. I think I was playing volleyball that night. Uh, Joe Carter. Joe Carter's home run. Yeah. yeah. I cried that night. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough night. Yeah. I remember my dad and I watching that game, and one of life's yeah. many moments when you watch sports. Yep. Disappointment. That's right. Schmidt goes down, swinging there for out number two. Going to bring up number six, Trey Wenger. It's his first at bat this game. He came in to play third base when the pitching changed. A little late on that fastball. And that's another strike there. Trey quickly in the hole here, 0 and 2. So we got a Grace Academy parent here who's got the radar gun. Oh, and one, said two, he, three. he reached up to 75 on that one. 78 on 78 that last on that fastball. Blew it right by him. So we got some analytics here for our broadcast. I know. How about that? Yeah. Hey, we aim to please. Yeah. You can only get spin rate, you know, on these curveballs. <laughs> exit speed. Yeah, exit, <laughs> exit velocity. Yeah. Been, I'd love to see that on Carter's yeah. run. He had some velo on that one. Yeah. Wow. So here we are, top of the seventh now. Flames trail six to five. So within reach here, see if we can. Um, Real big inning here. Yeah, Gotta shut them keep down this, this a one inning, game. go to the bottom of the seventh, only trailing one by one and see what can happen. Keaton had a really nice sixth inning. Came in and settled things down. According to Max Preps, this is Shans's third. This will be his fourth appearance. He's already appeared three times in games. Has a zero ERA. Hmm. That's, These look good. Might have to pay for the subscription to get more stats here, too. I would think so, yeah. yeah. I think the school could fund that. I'm Maybe. sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll ask Murray what he's got left in the budget, That's right. the athletic budget. Yeah. Although this time of year, probably not anything. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Way. That's right. So the pitcher is going to lead us off here in the top of the seventh. 
Knights lead by one, six to five. Shans, Keaton Shan, sophomore pitcher on the mound. Peterson's a left-hander for the Knights. Good play. So Carter the home run hitter. Yeah. Getting the first out here in the top of the seventh. Playing his position well. It's always good to get that first out. I hope his mom and dad were here to see that hit. It's got to be a special one. I don't know if he's had, we had any other home runs as a team at the first one of the year? I think it might be. We'll have to get some confirmation on that. But. Yeah. Oh, just missed on the curveball. Shans really wanted it. Yep. Hudson Walls. Laid off those first two balls there by Shans. Junior. The count now for Walls. Two balls, no strikes. One out here in the top of the seventh. Flames trail by one, six to five. Foul ball. Foul ball. Make sure our camera didn't get too shaken up on that one. <laughs> There's been a couple of them. <laughs> a couple pretty, foul balls where it's solid. been a little shaky. Anything we might need to shift it towards third base a little bit. Yep. But we're able to get that home run in the shed back there. That's the important thing. Foul back into the crowd. Full count. One out. If you're just tuning into this game. It's been a really good game. 6 5 Grace, top of the seventh. He got nice it. Nice job, Trey Layton. Two down here in the top of the seventh. Way to work, Keaton. Number three for the Knights coming to the plate. Is that Barry? Yep, Michael, Michael Barry, Barry, 10th grader. You get to know the players by the fourth or fifth at bat here. Yeah. I believe it's the leading hitter for the Knights here, batting 455 coming into this game. Wow. So. <laughs> Yeesh. A sophomore. Pretty much their entire lineup is sophomores and juniors. Yeah. I mean, they have a few seniors on their roster, but they're not they're not, not playing today. Outside, Shans falls behind here. Two balls, no strikes here. With two outs in the top of the seventh. There's a strike. Fired by Shans. Two balls, one strike to count now. Two outs. Top of the seventh. Foul ball, 2-2. Two, two. two outs is the count. So you played baseball, Mike. What, what, I did. what position were you? Usually infield, second, short, or third. Okay. That's going to be a shot to second base. Good play. Yeah. Ducart. Yep. Ducart switched over there. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what we needed there. Great job. All right. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Only trailing by one. So high school baseball is only seven innings long. So we'll see what Shalom can do here. If it's going to be tough. Get Peterson one run, extend the game or get two and win the game here. That would be nice. Peterson looked tough in that inning. That's the yeah. inning when he came in. He's firing. So yeah, I think it's bottom. I think it's bottom of the lineup here. Oh yeah, Will Turner. Will Turner's gonna lead off and then we got Drake. So we're gonna roll the top here. Yeah. Hopefully roll the top with the last place batter, Will Turner, gonna lead us off. <laughs> See, it's going to be important that they can just be patient here, too. Maybe take two, you get a strike. Yeah. You know, anything you can do to get a base runner. That's what's needed. Yep. So 
It's nice of these teams to give us a good game for the first That's live right. stream. Absolutely. two viewers and I would be one of them so I'm guessing we have one viewer <laughs> at one point I saw it was six so. although down here says oh 13 watching now okay I don't that's, know we'll see that sounds better yeah <laughs> I sent it to my dad so my dad's a big baseball oh, fan oh yeah there we go so hopefully my dad is watching yeah. Papa Lynn hope you're watching yep my kids call him Paw 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 yep All right, so Will, Will Turner is going to step into the batter's box here now, leading off the bottom of the seventh. Flames trail by one, six to five, against the Grace Academy Knights. He shows bunt. And, Not uh, a bad idea. Yeah, maybe even just to draw the infield, draw the corners in a little bit. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Swings at that high outside pitch. He's quickly in the hole here. 0-2. Oh, Going to check up on the bat now here. Will Turner stepping in. It's going to be outside. He's Good sticking fastball. He's, yeah, he's he, pure heat. <laughs> and you're hitting right around 80 miles an hour. That's fast for high school baseball. <laughs> oh, right down the middle and striking Will Turner out to lead off here. Start here, the he got the top the though. Now. He got the top of the order coming the guys up. Guys, we want. Yeah, Drake Lanier stepping in now. Sophomore shortstop here for the Flames. He's just bringing the heat right now. Rearing back and firing, isn't he? Classic closer. <laughs> Mm, right down the yep. That's a nice pitch. He is right at the Lanier. knees. In the hole now, 0 and 2, with one out. And that's going to be outside. And he's efficient. Pitch. You got to give him that. I think he's about yeah. six pitches. <laughs> six two pitches, strikeouts. Two out, yeah. So it's now up to Ducart here to see if we can keep this game going. The senior, Brady Ducart, started pitching, now playing second base in this game. Steps into the box now. I don't know if I'd want to face this guy. A little inside. A little brushback pitch there. Yeah. Been throwing everything else, mostly on the outside. Come inside that time. Oh, yes. Ducart Get sends it back. Yes, out that's a base hit. Out of the extended glove of the second baseman. So a little two out lightning Another here chance. for the Flames, and that's going to bring up Keaton Shans now. Here's the real question. Do you try to send them? Brady's got really good speed. Yeah, that's. I think I'd take the chance. You got to get a base runner in scoring yeah, position get him here. In scoring position. They're going to hold him on at the bag. <coughs> Shans. Can't get around on that fastball. Fouls it off over the first base or visitor's dugout. Into the see if he yard. gets the signal here. See if he sends him. I think I've picked up on what the steal signal is okay. from her. Yep, he's there going. He there it is. And it's a hit and run. Throw from the knees and not it. in time. He's on the bag. So we got a runner in scoring I'm position. Certainly not going to reveal what it is. But <laughs> he doesn't give many signs down there at third base. So. So the good thing is we got a runner, we got the time run in scoring position. Bad thing, Shans at the plate, he's in the hole. Two strikes. Now it's going to be one and two. So he lays off that inside fastball. Single ties it. Outfield's playing deep. Yeah. One ball, two strike, and Ducart's going to get a third, and they're not even going to pitch to him. Now it's going to get wild really pitch. Yeah, now it's really. Hey, you got to look for a wild pitch. So two twos to count, two outs here, bottom of the seventh. Tyne runs on third, and Brady Ducart Shans take steps in. Oh, got a chance, got a chance. Oh, oh, he got it. 
Made contact. Nice ball Good. game, though. Great job, Great Grace job. Academy. Shalom made nice it job, interesting. Shalom hanging in there. Nothing to hang their head about. No, that was a, it was a good finish. He puts that ball anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, that Might finds a hole there. It's a, we're a tie game. Really good game, though. Yeah. So, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Our first live stream of baseball. I liked I'd it. I'd say it went pretty well. It went really well. This is fun. Yeah. Could have been a little warmer, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, we bundled up. Soccer is going to be really tough. It's, uh, it gets dark and... It's going to be a cold game. I yeah. was talking to Coach Bill Poe earlier, and he was saying that he was hoping for warmer weather for this game. <laughs> he's not going to get it. <laughs> no, unfortunately not today. No, he's the, not. The damp weather it makes it even seem even yep. colder than what it actually is. So, again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate yeah. you helping Thank me you, on the call. That was fun. First of many future games, I hope. That's right. <laughs> yep. So, 